Sunday. Sunday. Pretty sure it was Sunday. It might have been Monday. Not really important. I uh, I took my car up to my shop uh, to put my mud flaps on the 86. Um, I was a little apparent. Like I knew, I, I thought they would look good. I got them. I was looking at them, going, I don't know if these are gonna look good. I was like, eh, whatever. Put them on. Worst case scenario, I take them off, right? So I get in there and I realize I need a drill. That's a fun part. Hey, I gotta drill my brand new car. So I get it up to base. I start working on it. The front, pretty smooth, not too bad. Um, and I go to uh, jack up the rear of the car. Uh, and the instructions say to jack it up by the differential. Not something I'm used to. So I was down on the floor and once again I had not put my hair up to work on my car. It's a really bad habit and I'm pretty sure this may have some bearing on what happened in, uh, that day. Um, I don't, I, I subconsciously don't want to lay down on the ground because my hair will hit the ground. And having had my hair dipped into oil once, not fun. So I jacked up the rear of the car and I got my jack stands and I slid them underneath the car and I didn't look to make sure I had them in the right spot. I just assumed that the seam was the same distance from the edge of the car as the front. I go back to the uh, floor jack and I turn the spindle and down the car comes and crunch. What the hell was that? Apparently, I put the floor jacks, or the jack stands, under the body panel, not the seam. In a very exuberant fashion, I bolted to the back of the car and began to jack the damn thing up again. The damage had already been done. There was no, no amount of speed that would have corrected the stupidity that had befallen me. Uh... I jacked the car up, moved the jack stands to the proper place, and began to inspect the damage. I was almost moved to tears, because let's be honest, it's like two and a half months old. And it does not deserve such a, br such a brutality inflicted upon it. I surveyed the damage. And, I mean, from the side of the car, looking down at it, you, you, if you didn't know, you would never see it. However, because it's a new car and I love it dearly and I want to do everything in my power to keep it nice, uh, this morning, I, or yesterday, I made an appointment to go to an auto body shop to get it looked at. So this morning I went over there at 8.30 and I thought, it's the bottom of the car, you can't even see it. I mean, there's barely any paint missing. How much could it possibly cost? So the gentleman comes out to look at my car and he goes, oh, where, he, first he goes, where's the damage? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's right there. Oh, underneath, yeah. Oh, don't say that. What does that mean? Don't say, oh. O means I'm screwed. Don't say O. What does O mean? Well, because the panel is uh, is one piece from behind, just behind the front fender, on the top and bottom, all the way to the back of the car where it meets the bumper in the trunk, it's one piece. And so, in order to properly repair it, they must remove the paint from the area in which they're working, remove the texturing underneath the car to protect the metal from being damaged from deflected debris. They must bend the metal back where it should be, and then they must paint that section, and then they have to put clear coat. But in order to keep, <coughs> excuse me, in order to keep the Uh, attributes of the clear coat the same, they must clear coat the whole panel, which of course requires removing the rear window 
and the uh, removing the rear window and removing all the trim and removing the uh, and taping up the win the front the windshield and the main window and prep work out the asshole all the prep it's kind of ridiculous um, so he goes yeah this is not going to be cheap I'm like are you kidding me are you kidding me it's a little ding in the bottom of the car really so he goes inside and he parts out all the repairs and everything and he hands me a piece of paper and $2,700! Are you kidding me? You can't even see the damage! Well, needless to say, I don't have $2,700 lying around for such a mistake. So, I decided to call the insurance company. Good news, insurance company is very polite, very understanding course they have to make sure everybody's okay no the car didn't fall on me I knew something was wrong immediately uh, so $500 deductible will be paid seven days without my car and it should be restored to normal that'd be nice anyway 